turn. It's my rules. It's my house. Glenn, you cooked it. Clean up. Glenn, I cooked it. You didn't eat it. You go. I woke up this morning and I was wanting to watch some Wife Swap. So as I was scrolling down season one, I saw something that had me intrigued. The episode I had to give to y'all. We got the Schmoke family and the Beaver family. What makes this family so iconic? These people we're watching today have made it big on TikTok. But before we get into the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification to get notified anytime I upload a new video because these wipe swap videos come in two parts. Uh, another thing, this video may be shorter than a lot of my previous wipe swap videos. I'm gonna go back to like the early episodes type of time because I didn't get copyright claimed on those. And I feel like the longer the episode is, the more likely it is to get copyright claimed. So instead of going over it in full detail, we may skip a couple scenes, go part from part. But I'm just trying to make sure I get it out to y'all at a reasonable time. But now that we're done with all the introductions and all the talkie talkie, let's get to the introductions and the talkie talkie. This week, the Smokes from South Carolina, a proud, conservative, and traditional Southern family. Strict Aletha believes that children should be seen and not heard, and has refused to share a bed with gun toting hunter husband Glenn for 10 years. God damn, there's so much to unpack here. South Carolina, conservative. Listen, I'm not here to get into politics nine times out of 10. One of them is racist. I come from Georgia, right under the border of South Carolina. I, me personally, I'm not stepping foot in South Carolina. A lot of them are racist. I seen that fucking Confederate flag up. Listen, I'm not getting political, but you wouldn't catch me switching houses over there. I'm just saying, hey. And the Beavers, an environmentalist family from Arkansas. Amy is an animal rights activist who believes that kids should be independent and outspoken. She hates guns, rednecks, and housework. See, she had me with the hate rednecks. I can understand hate and guns, but the hate cleaner, come on, man. You gotta straighten up. Listen, listen. Thank you. I keep my house nice and tidy. You know, I'm a civil man. I like a clean spot. I say this in all my... I say this in all my episodes. You gotta keep a clean environment. That being said, she had me, but she lost me. But as I previously stated, season one has always been short on the introductions, or maybe they just don't give enough for me to rag on them about. But... The introductions is pretty much over. I guess it's time to meet the two wives and their family. On a 500 acre plantation in South Carolina. Listen, I'm not gonna harbor on this too much, but there's so many red flags. They live on a plantation in South Carolina. Nah, nah. Patriotic Southerners Aletha Smoke and her husband Glenn <laughs> live with the 55 members of their extended family. I think what having all the family around us fills in gaps that Glenn and I have in our marriage. 55 family members living in your house with you and they filling in the gaps of your marriage. There's so much down south shit that's going on right now. Listen, I'm not here to throw out accusations. I'm just saying, saying your 55 family members living with you fills up the gap in your relationship and your marriage. That's a weird way to put it. We have not slept in the same bed and 11 years, maybe. Orange, she said, keeps her up. There's no way. If we're married, listen, the least you could let me do is sleep in the same bed with you. If I snore too loud, we, I'm sure we could work something out. I hate to be this guy, but you can't blame me. I'm sleep. At this point, why are they even married anymore? You have 55 other people to replace and I guess keep your mind off your relationship, you might as well call it quits. You wasting your time, both of y'all time. Granted, y'all both up in age, so it's probably harder to find somebody else. Fuck it, live alone. You got like 20 years left. Rock out, bro. It, it wouldn't be the first time. Glenn sleeps on the bottom bunk. Um, it's a nice arrangement. I like it. <laughs> Bro, that is sad. She got this grown man sleeping at the bottom of a bunk bed on a plantation. Never. 
Never would I ever. I'm praying for bro. I don't know what he got going on. I don't know where he's staying on black people. I don't know what they got going on with their relationship. But from the outside looking in, I feel bad for that guy. They need to talk it out and fix this. To relieve tension, Glenn loves nothing more than to shoot his guns and mount his animals. When he's not working, he spends most of his time hunting. I think a good wife to him would be one that hunts and fishes with him. Mm, we can already see some of the cracks in the relationship. He's spending too much time hunting and shit. More South Carolina shit. This whole episode is probably going to be me dragging on that country, hillbilly city, state, whatever you want to call it, because it is irrelevant. I hate South Carolina with a passion. If you live there, I'm sorry. But I'm not sorry. Move out. Do what I do is like having a climax. Did he just say hunting is like having a climax? <laughs> My brother, what? While Glenn's off hunting and fishing, Aletha likes to keep a clean house and a tight rein on seven-year-old Eli and 10-year-old Addie. My children pretty much know that what I say is the gospel and they don't talk back, they just do it. That's not a bad thing though. As long as you being in good taste about it, that's a good thing. Your kids are supposed to follow your rules. You're supposed to be their idol. You set the rules that shape them to go out and live in the fucking world. You're supposed to be that. And see, this tangent wouldn't be needed if I didn't know for a fact, knowing why swap paths, this next family is finna let their kid walk all over them. It happens every episode. One stern, normal, or even strict family, then the next family just don't give a fuck. It shouldn't be that way. If anything, this lady may possibly be a healthy mix in the middle. But then again, she from South Carolina, so I really have no faith in this whole ordeal. Looking after the children and the house, Aletha has two full-time jobs working in the family business. I'm extremely exhausted. Oh, quit belly aching. I think I'm a pretty good husband. I just want to start this off by saying I renege everything I said about this guy in the beginning. He seems like a fucking asshole. Now her, we gotta give props to a hard working woman. She worked two jobs in the family business. She's always tired taking care of the kids. And this guy is just out here fucking hunting. Listen, listen, listen. I respect her for making him sleep on the couch. Until you put some real fucking work in this house, go sleep on the couch, buddy. Let's go see what this other family talking about. I'm tired of being with my ugly next door neighbor, AKA South Carolina. Let's go to wherever the beaver's at. Amy Beaver is an animal loving pacifist liberal who lives with her environmentalist husband, Jeff. They've been together for 12 years and the physical side of their relationship is still going strong. I just wanna say, I don't know what any of these buzzwords mean. I still don't know what liberal, conservative, but we are not here to get into politics. I do know what environmentalists means though and that mean like you care for the environment and shit i respect that but the politics i don't know i don't know who what is what i do know though they still fuck it they felt it was necessary to add that in so i'ma comment on it they still fuck it that deserve a round of applause let's go we feel like it's an accomplishment after 12 years of marriage for the sex to be better now than when we first got married. Hey, she preaching. That's an achievement. 12 years and y'all still getting nasty. Hey, we used to pray for times like this, the rhyme like this. So I had to, my fault. Hey, I'm, I'm so happy for y'all. I really like this family already. The dreads she doing is crazy, but hey, I heard doing dreads for white people here is way different than doing like my type of dreads. So I can't comment. I'm not a hairstylist. I'm just here to see how they move. And she's passionate about animal rights. I've always loved animals. Always, always had a great, deep, compassionate. I don't mean to strike judgment early, but she takes me as the type of person to still brush her teeth after she used that toothbrush on that dog. Please, please let me be wrong. I'm praying I'm wrong. 
to the man upstairs, to whatever you believe in, listen, me and you at the same spot. If she put a red toothbrush in her mouth, I'm liable to cut this video off. Love for animals and was very much against the whole hunting thing. I, I, I may not be the only person high right now. Listen, I know that tone of dialect. When I be off the zoinkies, off the zaza, my speech get a look. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. If you asked my extended family what they thought about me, you there go. She's a freak. She's totally weird, and we don't want anything to do with the tree hugging, freakish person. Yeah. So I ain't gonna cap. She low key a vibe though. She really don't give a fuck. She care about animals. She care about the well being of people. I fuck with her. She's she's inspirational at the least. I'm liking the vibe. This might be my family. While Jeff has to take Emily to school, Amy gets up mid morning. Her day consists of watching TV and writing poetry, but not household chores. Oh my God, bro! Oh hell no, man! What the fuck, man? It's not hard. I promise. It's not hard. It's not fun. It's definitely not fun, but to clean up and still get your side shit out the way is not hard. I may go a week without uploading a video. I get lazy. I may go a couple days without cleaning my house. I get lazy. But the, to just say fuck it is another story. This is where you need to be called out. Stop it. I like what you got going on here, but at least straighten up a little bit. You know, at least make shit presentable. We don't want to get sick. I'm too lazy to clean it. I could, I could totally fill the day with that. But I'm like, oh, there's the dishes. That's too bad. Hey, at least she honest about it. And that's all we can ask for sometimes. Some people, like the last family, try and come up with weird ways for them not to clean. Convincing themselves bacteria is good for them. But at least she just flat out said, fuck it, I'm too lazy. I can't do nothing but respect that. But now that we done met both families, let's see as they get acclimated, acclimated to their new environments. For the first time, the wives get to see where they will be living for the next two weeks. Oh no, no! It's really big Confederate flag. That flag symbolizes just mass murder. She is a fucking vibe right now. You know why? If I pull up to that house and see a Confederate flag, my heart is going to sink into my ass. I don't know what is going to happen when they see, to be honest, my black ass. Listen, <laughs> listen. I would be petrified. Before the wives meet their new family, they have a chance to explore their new homes. Oh, what a mess. To be honest, we've seen worse, so I can't complain on it too bad. It's a whole lot of shit everywhere, but with one solid day, five couple hours, you could get that spot cleaned up. We have seen worse. Oh no, guns. Definitely have some hunters here. A gun rack between children's bedrooms. Now that I think about it, she low key spitting. That is literally the worst spot to have a gun rack. I don't care how much I teach my kids or how stern I am with my kids. They're still a child. I'm not gonna put a gun smack dad in they fucking face and trust they little ass. Yo, <clears throat> Call of Duty exists. Fortnite exists. Dead animals in a little girl's bedroom, in a little girl's bedroom. From the cameraman to the editor, this is the most petty shit they possibly did. They sat there and recorded this lady having a breakdown over a fucking deer. They dropped the beat and all. They wanted us to really feel that shit. And you know what? I think it's working. Cause I genuinely feel bad for her. She don't know what the fuck she signed up for. And they just throwing her into the deep end. Dead animals on dead animals on guns on guns. And whole time, her house is getting roasted for being so dirty. So after she go through this traumatic shit, she gonna go home, watch it, and realize while she was sitting there crying and shit, 
Somebody is ragging on her house. All creatures belong to God. I'm sorry. <laughs> But now that they don't ran through the environments, it's time for them to read the house rules. Let's get into it, dude. Mornings, I get up at 10, 10 a.m. <laughs> we have a lot of sex, okay? Thank you. Adding that into the manual is pretty much saying, hey, you gonna have to handle him. I wonder about this though, and I've always wondered about this. Do they, I'm gonna just lay it out flat. Do they be fucking on White Swamp? Cause listen, you can go back to the second part of my power episode. She made that man shave and look exactly like her husband. He showered up, he cleaned his house, and he shaved and looked exactly like her husband. Was they fucking? That's what I wanna know. We haven't shared a bed for about 10 years, and we often get creative. Well, thank you for sharing that with me. She really went into a lot of detail about them getting it on. I respect it though. Hey, she telling them what go on in their household. She said flat out, we be doing the nasty and we get nasty. Another round of applause, 12 years in, still doing the damn thing. It's the moment of truth. The two wives are about to come face to face with their new husbands and children. She seems so nervous. Why did they put her on here? I feel bad for her slightly because she's getting thrown into the deep end and you can just tell how uncomfortable she is. The other lady was posted up on the couch. Loki made herself at home. This lady is standing in the middle of the floor in a cashmere sweater. She is petrified and sweating her ass off. Get her a water bottle. Tell her she can have a seat, at least. First up for Amy is a tour of the sleeping arrangements. Letha and I have really slept together in about 12 years, maybe. Wow. He and his wife don't have a relationship. That's a crazy way to start off your introduction. The first thing you say is, yeah, me and my wife ain't been on good terms in 12 years. Welcome to my house. I still feel no pity for you, brother. I sleep in here. There is no marriage between Aletha and Glenn. I think Amy is very beautiful. I was expecting someone big and fat and ugly. I feel like bro got devious intent. There was no need for him to say and go into detail. I was expecting somebody big, fat, and ugly. Chill, bro. Chill, bro. You're big, fat, and ugly. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We got to keep it real here. Bro Neck is doing some big neck ass shit. I'm just saying, but we not here to judge. Mm-mm. I couldn't eat. I won't eat. The place is filthy. Not right now. Like I said, I just ate a banana and... A filthy mess. And the dad is off the wall and freaky dreadlocks. Hey, why you had to add that in at the end? There's nothing wrong with dreads. Trust me. I'm a completely rational guy. After working with the family all day, Amy's getting ready for the regular smoked barbecue with the family, more than 30 of them. Everybody's waiting to see uh, Amy. See, and this is the shit I'm talking about. They all so excited for her to be there. And I know for a fact, she does not want to fucking be there. I hate situations like this. Why y'all so happy to see me? I'm just a normal person like y'all is. I'm finna come outside. Y'all finna be excited to talk to me. We gonna say two, three words. I'm a fake smile and then go about my day. Why are we doing this? Oops, I dropped my teeth. When I Them guys just want a piece of Amy. They're nasty. They probably read the portfolio. They probably saw she be fucking. My hands are so ashy. They probably saw she be doing the nasty and they all want a piece of that. Cause you know it's family. Family ain't gonna do nothing but talk. The dad probably said, hey, y'all won't believe what's coming through and got everybody all hot and nasty minded. Y'all grown men, y'all need to control yourself, man. Everybody. This is Amy. This is my new wife. <laughs> I wish I had her as a, a wife, a real wife. 
bro, you're taking this too far. You really border in that creepy line. I need you to stop, think about what you're saying, and remember, your wife is gonna go back and watch this shit. This is Scooter. Hi, Scooter. Mindy. Hi, Mindy. Every single family member that ever existed on Earth lives here. That's sweet. Oh. Nice. Oh yeah, nah, bro is weird. I don't like Buddy. Buddy on some other shit. The way he looking at her and gawking at her, bro, hey, nah. This is the shit I'm talking about. She's just a human, bro. Treat her with respect. But like I said, we're gonna have to keep these videos a little bit shorter. So on that note, we're gonna call it quits here. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. Get notified anytime I upload another video because these wife swap videos come out in two parts. Be sure you don't miss out on the second part because I'm sure it only gets better from here. That being said, I hope you enjoyed and goodbye. Oh.